Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoul in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to solve this given set of equations with the help of Kramer's rule. Fine. Now for that, just write down the given equations as it is. Okay. Just write. Just put down the data as it is. It's always good to put down the data. Now the given equations. The given equations can be written in matrix form like this. Like this. Okay, it's very simple. I'm just putting the coefficients of x, y, z like from the first equation, second equation, and third equation. Only that's it. Now there's nothing new here. So the, beside x there is one, beside y there is one, beside z there is one. So I wrote one, 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 two, two, three, and then one, four, nine. That's it. Nothing new. Into x, y, z is equal to one, six, three. I hope things are clear until here. Fine. Next. Next. I'm going to take this first matrix as A. And the second matrix has capital X and the third matrix has D. Okay, so basically, A is this, capital X is this, and capital D is this. So A into capital X is equal to capital D. Clear? Next. Now I need to solve this matrix equation with the help of Kramer's rule. How I'm going to do it? Let's see. First, I'm going to find out delta. Okay, delta is nothing but delta A. This A you're saying, this matrix A you're saying, I'm, I'm going to find out, find out its determinant, and that I'm going to denote it by delta. So fine. In case if you are familiar with how to find out the determinant of matrix, it's well and good. You can uh, go a bit faster. You can increase the speed of this video. If not, I'm going to explain this first determinant in a in a detailed manner. So please stay with me. And then the other determinants I'd be going a bit fast, which would be in which would be involved in this question. Fine. Now, this determinant I'm going to expand it along. I'm going to expand it along row one. Okay. In row one there are three elements: one, one, and one. Now, what would I get is this, I'd be getting something like this. If I'd expand this determinant, how did I get it? Listen to me. See, first consider the first element. First element into, first element into, now strike off the column and row in which the first element is there. First element is in first row and first column. If you strike it out, what I'm left out with 2, 3, 4, 9. That's why I got here debt of 2, 3, 4, 9. Next, there would be a minus sign in between. There would be a minus sign in between. This is part of formula. It's part of formula. There will be a minus sign in between. Minus one, minus second element. Now come to the second element. Minus second element into, minus second element into, now strike off the row and column in which the second element is there. You need not have to do it in exam for your understanding. I'm just showing, okay? Now what I'm left out with, 2, 3, 1, 9. 2, 3, 1, 9. That's why I have this debt of 2, 3, 1, 9. Please follow the same order, okay? Please follow the same order. Next. <laughs> uh, next, the third element. Next, the third element. Third element is one. Now strike off the row and column in which this one is there. What I'm getting is two, two, one, four. Okay, so everything's clear. Now next, in case if you're not familiar how to expand this uh, second determinant, how to expand, how to expand a second in the sense like I mean second two by two determinant. Listen, it's very simple. It's just two into nine minus four into three. Here also two into nine minus one into three. So like AD minus BC. 2 into 4 minus 1 into 2. So ultimately, if I'd, I'd be getting like this. What's 2 9s are 18. That's why I have 18 here. What is 4 3s are? It's 12. That's why I have 12 here. 18 minus 12. Minus 1 into 2 9s are 18. Minus 1 into 3 is 3. And then plus 1 into 2 4s are 8. Minus 1 into 2 is 2. So that's how I hear. Right? Here the numbers are quite easy. Like it's good. Like 18 minus 12 is 6. Minus 1 into 15 plus 1 into 6. Fine. Uh, so this would be nothing but 6 minus 15 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. And 12 minus 15 is minus. So hence my delta is minus. 6. Now remember, remember this is not equal to 0. This is not equal to 0. So A is a non-singular matrix. So A is a non-singular matrix. Non-singular matrix. Because Kramer's rule can only be applied then. If that delta of A would have been 0. This delta would have been 0. Kramer's rule cannot be applied. A is a non-singular matrix. So the given set of equations can be solved. So the given set of equations, given set of equations, set of equations can be solved, can be solved, can be solved by Kramer's rule, by Kramer's rule. Okay, fine. This was the first determinant I explained in detail. 
After this, I need to find out delta one, delta two, and delta three. I'm going a bit. I'm going to go a bit faster. Now I'm going to get this delta one. Okay. To get delta one, what you need to do is replace the element for first column of delta with the elements of d. Basically, one six three. Replace them with one six three. So instead of one two one, I have one six three. And then these two second, so second and third column would remain the same. So that's how I have one one two three and four nine. It's the same. And then I have one six three in the in again the same basic process of expanding the determinant. <clears throat> this would be nothing but this one into det of two three four nine minus one into det of six three three nine and then plus one into det of six two three four. Fine. Now next two nine is eighteen minus four into three is twelve minus one into six nine is fifty four minus nine. And then six four is that twenty four minus three into two is six. That's how I have here. Eighteen minus twelve is six. Fifty four minus nine is forty five, and twenty four minus six is eighteen. And then the it's one, so one six is six, and one forty five is forty five. So six minus forty five plus eighteen. So ultimately, I'd be left out with minus twenty one. Okay, six plus eighteen is twenty four. Twenty four minus forty five is minus twenty one. Okay, in twenty four minus forty five, you see forty five is bigger, and it has minus sign. So basically, the final answer has to be negative. So it it is basically minus twenty one. Clear? No next. Now for delta two, now for delta two, what you need to do is this delta is there, right? This delta is there. In this delta, in this delta, you need to replace the second column, the second column with the elements of d. Basically one six three. Basically, in the for for delta one, you had to replace the first column. For the delta two, you would have to replace the second column. In place of one two four, I have one six three. So therefore, I have this one, 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 six, three, and the other two columns remain the same. Now, now, again the basic expansion: one into det of six, three, three, nine, minus one into det of uh, two, three, one, nine, and one into det of two, six, one, three. Fine. Uh, I'll explain the detail procedure for the first one: six nine is fifty-four minus three into three is nine. Two nine is eighteen. Eighteen minus one into three is three, and then two three is a six minus one into six is six. So basically, if you will solve, we would get one into forty-five plus minus one into Fifteen plus one into zero, so forty-five minus fifteen, which is nothing but thirty. This is my delta two. Now for delta three, now for delta three, what you need to do is in this delta, in this delta, replace the third column, replace the third column with the elements of d, basically one six three. Fine. So that's when my delta three is going to be this. My delta three is going to be this. Fine. Now again, the basic expansion: one into det of two six four three minus one into det of two six one three and plus one into det of Two two one four. Fine. Now next. Uh, two three is a six minus four into six is twenty four. Two three is a six minus one into six six. I'm sorry. Two three is a six minus one into six plus one into two four is a eight eight minus one into two is two. That's how I have here. Six minus twenty four is minus eighteen. Okay. Please uh, don't do this mistake because some of them do. Six minus twenty four is minus eighteen. Now why I got, how I got it is see basically out of six and twenty four twenty four is bigger and it has minus sign. So, so ultimately the final answer will have minus sign. Okay. Six minus twenty-four is minus eighteen. Minus one into zero plus one into six. Okay, minus eighteen plus six. It's nothing but minus twelve. It's nothing but minus twelve. So basically, my delta one, delta two, delta three are done, and delta is also done, which I had done in the beginning. Now by Cramer's rule, by Cramer's rule, x is nothing but delta one by delta, which is equal to this minus twenty-one by minus three, uh, which is nothing but seven, and y is nothing but thirty by minus. Delta two by delta, which is nothing but thirty by minus three, which is minus ten, and z is nothing but delta three by delta, which is nothing but minus twelve by minus three. It should be nothing but equal to four. Okay, so basically my solution is x equal to seven and y equal to minus ten and z equal to four. So thank you very much for staying with me until here. Not just this question, I made many more questions uh, from the matrices chapter. I'll I'll keep the link of the playlist in the description. You can check it out. Okay. Uh, i'll be making many more questions also like this i'll try my best to make them now uh, if you like this video solution please hit the like button and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it once again i am akash i completed my btech from nit raurkela in the year 2020 currently i am a mathematics teacher